What's up guys? Today we are going to be taking a look at the Rurock Atlas 2.0 helmet. I picked this up last week actually. They had a 50% off sale. It was the fractionally priced, partially blemished, something like that sale. I've been wanting to pick up one of the Atlases for some time now. However, I've been a little apprehensive. You know, it's, it's a pricey helmet and I've read a lot of positive and negative reviews. So when I saw the 50% off sale come up, I was like, I gotta get one. Uh, so we're gonna open this thing up. We're gonna take a look at it together. I'm gonna let you know what I think about it. And we're gonna see if we can find the area that is blemished and how bad it is. So let's get right into this. We've got the uh, Rurock stickers, instructions, all that stuff. Set that to the side. This is the El Diablo uh, XXL. So a little bit about the sizing. Uh, that's another thing where I wasn't quite certain. You get the Rurock sizing chart and everything, and uh, I've always typically been an XXL with the Fox uh, Open Face MVRS V1s, um, the Icon Air Flight. I have the Synthwave and the Blockchain. Those actually are both XXLs, but they fit differently. The Synthwave uh, is much more comfortable, whereas the Blockchain, again, despite the fact that they're the same brand, same model, different graphics, uh, the Blockchain is way tighter on my head. So I can't really explain that. Uh, this is more of an intermediate oval, so this is going to fit more people's head naturally, I believe. Uh, we're going to take a look at how this fits here in just a second. All right, uh, let's take a look here. Okay, so... Immediately upon opening it up, we have a Rurock Atlas visor. I'm assuming that one of them must be installed already. I'm guessing maybe the, the clear visor is the one installed now. Here's the smoke. This is nice. Feels quite, quite heavy duty. I like that. All right. I'm really interested in just seeing how bad this blemish is, if it's even noticeable. And also uh, taking a look at how it fits. So let's get the helmet out now. All right, wow, it's super light. Holy crap. All right, let's get this box out of the way. All right. Wow, the thing is really, really light. Uh, let's take a look at what we've got here. I'm going to try and find the blemish right out of the bat. Okay, so the matte red and the matte black of this helmet are amazing. It pops like crazy. I don't know if you guys can see that, but really it is, uh, wow. All right, let's just take a moment here to talk about this. Let's just look at this for a second here. Actually, I just found the blemish while we're doing this. See if you can see it. Right here above this, there is a little scratch. That's it. Wow. It has the, uh, the locking buckle. Uh, it's magnetic. Okay, that's sweet. Let's try this on. Okay, so right off the bat, the helmet is super lightweight. It's very, very comfortable. Um, none of the 
nothing is pressing against my head too hard. I like that. My glasses went back on perfectly fine underneath it. And I've never used one of these magnetic clasps before that Rurok has. And I was able to figure it out just like that without any uh, instruction, without anything else. I have to say that my initial impressions on this helmet are all positive. It looks great. It feels great. Um, and for half price, you can't go wrong. Uh, I will say this, the Mercury colorway of this helmet has caught my eye for a long time and I've wanted that one. Uh, I've just been a little hesitant again to spend that kind of money not knowing how the helmet's gonna fit, uh, not having one that I could have tried on that would have fit my head. However, now that I have put this on and seen how comfortable this helmet is, how well built it feels, I can definitely say that I'll be picking up the Mercury as soon as it's back in stock in my size. Also, in addition to that, I'm going to be picking up the audio system, uh, get that installed here, and I'll give you guys a review of that. So, again, I know this is a real quick, short video, but I wanted to share the experience of unboxing the 50% off Rurok helmet. Just take a look at how bad the blemish is. It's not bad at all. You can barely see it. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take a red Sharpie and just touch it up. You'll probably never even be able to tell where it was. Um, so yeah, big two thumbs up for me on this one. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Peace.